molecular theory, the theory that explains how atoms and molecules move inside of matter, which is affected by average temperature or the average kinetic energy of an atom or molecule. <sighs> May Mendeleev help us. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't look so blue. Yeah, home dog. Caroline the Rain and I will show you the ropes. Two... Phase changes! Magic! No! Science! Okay, first we have our three major forms of matter. And to help us demonstrate, we have our friend Ice Cube. Say hi, Ice Cube. So. Thanks, Ice Cube. Three basic forms of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. No! <sighs> Not that kind of gas. Anyway, solids have a definite shape and a definite volume. Their atoms, or the smallest unit of an element, are tightly packed together. However, because of its definite shape, the solid's atoms only vibrate in place and don't move much. Stop stepping on my foot. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting claustrophobic. Because of the kinetic magnetic of your theory, right? Precisely. All atoms and molecules are always in motion because of temperature. Temperature is the average kinetic energy of the atoms inside a form of matter. And as the matter's conditions change, such as a sudden increase in thermal energy, the solid transforms or melts into a liquid. Liquids have an indefinite shape and a definite volume. This means that they can take the shape of their container. The atoms now have a little more space, and they can move or slide past each other. They are more active than the atoms and solids because the kinetic energy, or temperature, is higher. Alright, next up are gases. How are you feeling, Ice Cube? A little wet, but it's all good. When more thermal energy is added, liquids transform or vaporize into gases through a process called vaporization. Gases have an indefinite shape and an indefinite volume, which means that atoms have lots of space. They are very active and can freely move past each other. I'll bet you're wondering if when matter changes state or when particles collide, if energy is lost or if some of the matter disappears. Actually, when particles collide, no energy is lost. And when matter changes form, matter doesn't disappear or appear. This is because of the law of conservation of matter. Okay, this is what we've taught you today. Matter has three main forms, solids, liquids, and gases. They change form because of thermal energy, which causes changes in the temperature, or kinetic energy, of atoms. It can never be created or destroyed, and the atoms inside each form don't lose energy when they collide. Atoms are always moving, and their activity increases or decreases because of changes in temperature. Did, Did you get, get that, that, Isaac? Phase changes are happening all around us. They happen all the time. Sometimes we don't even know it. Hey, Caroline, do me a solid and turn this presentation in. Huh, solid. I get it. 